When asked to picture a Neanderthal, most of us immediately think of a dim-witted, Fred Flintstone-type character, carrying a club, wearing fur, and dragging a woman back to his cave. That image, however, is far from accurate. Neanderthals were a socially capable species, far more intelligent than popular culture has led us to believe. Thanks to TV, their true story has often been overshadowed by stereotypes. Hey there, fellow historians. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be showing you a day in the life of a Neanderthal. It was a time before electricity, wheels, and even language. Picture this. You're nestled in a mountainside cave somewhere between 300,000 and 800,000 years ago. A Neanderthal wakes up in a pile of furs with their family sleeping nearby. Stretching and stirring, they prepare to face another day in the Ice Age. Neanderthals were strong and stocky, with males averaging around 5 feet 5 inches tall and females slightly shorter at 5 foot 1. They had wide, flat facial features and large noses with wide nostrils, adaptations that helped them retain body heat and warm the cold air they inhaled. This physical resilience allowed them to endure the harsh climate of the Ice Age. In their caves, Neanderthal families often included not only adults, but children and even elderly relatives. While their average life expectancy was just 30 years, some lived into their 40s. These family groups were tightly knit, with each member playing a role in the group's survival. Though they inhabited vast regions from Western Europe to Eastern Asia, their population was always small. At their peak, there were around 52,000 Neanderthals, but their numbers were much lower for most of their existence, ranging between 10,000 and 20,000 individuals. Neanderthals were skilled hunter-gatherers. Whether they knew how to create fire is still debated, but they used fire when they could, often capturing it from natural sources like wildfires or lightning strikes. They didn't rely on it as we do today, often eating raw food and enduring cold without its warmth. Hunting was a group effort, with all strong and capable members participating. Using rudimentary tools, they tracked animals such as deer and foxes. They preferred slower, larger prey, like woolly mammoths and rhinos, targeting the weakest members of a herd. The spoils, including meat and hides, were divided equally among the group. In warmer regions like modern-day Spain, some Neanderthals foraged for berries and plants, relying less on hunting. Most Neanderthals, however, had a mixed diet of hunted meat and gathered plants. Their survival also depended on mobility. They frequently moved to follow food sources, setting up temporary encampments and crafting sophisticated shelters from animal hides and simple tools. Preparing these tools was part of their daily life. They made spears, hammers, and awls from sharpened stones, sticks, and bones. Animal hides were softened and crafted into coverings or shoes to protect them from the elements. Neanderthals communicated with a surprisingly advanced system of sounds and gestures, allowing them to convey hunting strategies and emotions. While they may not have spoken in the way modern humans do, they demonstrated an early understanding of complex emotions, like grief. Evidence of graves, some adorned with flowers, suggests they practiced basic mourning rituals. Many remains show that Neanderthals cared for those who were ill or disabled, indicating they valued members of their group for more than their ability to hunt or gather. Their resourcefulness extended to medical care. Neanderthals used medicinal plants and even penicillium fungi, long before modern humans developed antibiotics, to treat illnesses and injuries. Beyond survival, they also displayed an artistic side. In Spain, cave art created around 60,000 years ago shows patterns of dots and lines scraped onto stalagmites. While not comparable to modern art, it reflects emotional intelligence and a spark of creativity in a species that may not have yet mastered fire making. Neanderthals lived far more complex and intelligent lives than they are often given credit for. They were survivors, caregivers, and creators, remarkable beings who adapted to the challenges of their time with ingenuity and resilience. Their story continues to shape our understanding of humanity's shared past. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for even more journeys back in time. Have a video you'd like to see? We would love to hear it in the comments below. Until next time, keep making history.